believe you're being so laid back about this. I told you last night, there's nothing more to worry about. He doesn't want to go back into teaching. Yeah, he doesn't now. But that still gives us some breathing space. And even if it doesn't, there'll still be problems down the line when he starts another job, won't there? Like what? Well, I don't know. Like, national insurance numbers, pensions. Pensions? He's only 45. Yeah, the paperwork might crop up. Well, that could take years. Anyway, we'll cross that bridge oh. when we come to it. Then the Charlotte. She thinks it's a scream. I don't trust her further than I can throw her. She's the last person who'll cause us trouble. Well, let's hope you're right, John, for everyone's sake. <clears throat> oh, you always look so smart in the morning, Lewis. I'll acquire a string vest if Madame would prefer it. Do you want it with belt or braces? <laughs> You do make me laugh. No, I look such a scruff in this dressing gown, don't I? Perish the thought. It's just, but it's the first thing to put you on. Look positively fragrant, Audrey, as ever. You would tell me if I was slipping, wouldn't you? Well, the unlikely event, I would, of course, inform you. You know, uh, you could do with the dressing gown here. I mean, then you could slob about more if you wanted to. Yeah, it's a, it's a good idea. And you could fetch a few other bits and pieces over and all. I mean, the time now you spend here, uh, I could. Get you some space, clear a couple of drawers. Yeah, well, it, it would certainly be practical. Right. Well, I'll, um... I'll sort that out today. <laughs> I didn't realise Audrey was 70 on Friday. She told you that? No, David did. Oh, I was going to say, she doesn't like to own up to it. Why is it women get the knickers in the twist about people knowing how old they are? Well, Audrey need them. She's fantastic for her age. Yeah, but either a woman looks good or she doesn't. Who cares how old she is? So how would you feel if you went out with someone you thought was 19 and then she told you she was 30? Cool. You won't say that when you're older. Well, I was going to suggest throwing a party for her. Oh, I don't think she'd want to fuss. Have you asked her? Well, I think it's a great idea. Yeah, something simple in the pub. Surprise her. Yeah. Drop some meow in a GNT, she'll be aware. I'm serious. She might say she don't want a fuss, but if she don't get one, we'll never hear the end yeah, of it. I can't deny that. I mean, 70. You can't let that go without marking it. And that's true and all. So, shall I go ahead? Can I stop it? So, what have you got on today, then? Anything exciting? Nope. Oh, well, makes two of us. What interesting lives we both lead. Are you working much this week? Yep. Nose to the grindstone. So you're going to be out a fair bit, then? Well, it's going to be hard to be at the Rovers near at the same time, so... Why? Just wondered. Oh, yeah? Not planning on having any wild parties, are you? <laughs> I wish. Uh, do you think this colour suits me? Why? Showing interest. You mean mother? Yeah, well, you have to learn to pretend if you want to get anywhere with women, Ryan. I wonder how Sean is, anyway. She's coming out today. Oh, really? You seen her? Maybe. Maybe. Look at him blushing. I'm not. Yeah, that's why you wanted me out the house, isn't it? No. Yeah, so you could get her back here. You really like her, don't you? I just thought we were good together. Well, <clears throat> she's a lovely girl. <clears throat> just... Go easy on her, though, yeah? Just coming out of hospital and all that. I'm not an idiot. I mean, it might not be the best time to push things, you know, if you really want to get back together. Mum, stop giving me advice. All right. But if you do want a bit of space, just, um, tip me the wink. <laughs> Can you keep the noise down, please? Mm. Those lucky, lucky children, six weeks on a day. Oh, I wish I was their age. Ah. Anyway, I'll see you later, babe. I'll be in as soon as I can. I'm sorry? Well, I've got to get them ready and everything, so... No, no, I mean, what do you mean you'll be... In... For work. Well, who's looking after the kids? Me. Oh, where? I mean, how... Uh... At the shop. Oh. <laughs> Are you crazy? No. I can do work and look after them at the same time. Sunita, sweetheart, <laughs> a shop is no place for, like, two five-year-old kids. Why not? Well, because we're running around, bumping the things, knocking things over. Not if I keep them occupied. Yeah, and work at the same time now. That's a recipe for disaster. Are you saying I can't look after my own children? Honey, honey, when they are older and they can help out, great. But until then, look at me. Listen, call me old-fashioned, right? But in my book, the wife 
Here she stays at home. She minds the kids and the husband, it's me, goes out and earns the pennies. The old division of labour, baby. I'm sorry. We shouldn't be more than half an hour. So why weren't you at the Windasses last night? I had a drink to do with some of the staff. Celebrate the end of term. Couldn't get out of it. Then why didn't Fizz tell me that? I've no idea. What did she say? Just said she couldn't make it. But if what you're saying is true, it's hardly confidential, is it? I don't know why she didn't tell you. Because it's a lie, probably. Usually is with you. No, it's not. Just don't say any more. I don't want to know. Have you had a good time? Yeah. Watching Fizz tie herself in knots about where you work. It was hilarious. Don't envy her doing that 24-7 from now on. Still, you get job satisfaction. That's all that matters. I do realise that, that this is an unusual setup. No, it's cool. I had a life for a mother, so I'm used to it. This won't last forever. Just stay out of jail, OK? For Fizz. Not that I care if you went back in. Come on, Mike. Done well, this top. I bought this in 1999, I remember, because the girl in the shop said they were worried that the Millennium Bug was going to crash all the computers on New Year's Day. Do you remember all that? Yeah. A bit like my life, that Millennium Bug. Massive, great big build-up and then nothing happens. Still, it's my night off tonight. Uh, here? Sorry, Eileen, I'm miles away. Any particular location? Violet and Dylan. Mm, don't suppose you hear from them anymore. Well, it's funny you should ask. They've been in touch. I tracked Violet down on the internet. She sent me some photographs of Dylan. Ooh, he's lovely. I thought she never wanted to see you again. I set up a fake identity. She thinks I'm one of her old girlfriends. So she doesn't know it's you? What was I supposed to do? I'm desperate to know who he is, but she just doesn't seem to want to have anything to do with me. Have I done the wrong thing? How are you going to get out of this one now? I was hoping you might have a few ideas. My advice? Yeah. Well, you can forget about seeing Dylan, because you have well and truly blown it. How can you manage? Yeah. <laughs> I'm amazed you're back on your feet so quick. I know, I'm still a bit tender, though. I'm not surprised. <laughs> no, you seen get over it. Just told me not to be mad, didn't they? Eighty years ago, it would have been three weeks in a darkened room drinking beef tea. Oh, we had it hard as a kid, like. <laughs> Cheeky. There you go. OK, now listen. Look after yourself. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Well, it's good to have you back in one piece, anyway. You sure your mum don't mind you stay here? No. You all right? How are you feeling? Um, good. Thank you. Thank you for everything that you've done. It's nothing. Come on, you only saved my life. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. So, uh, you got anything planned for over the summer? Not really. Um, I was wondering whether we could meet up sometime. Yeah, OK. One evening this week, maybe? Well, uh, a, a daytime would probably be better. Lunch, then? Yeah, thank you. Do you want to do it today, or do you want to leave it for a bit? Um, no, we'll do it today. All right, um, half twelve at mine, then. Okay. All right, see you later. What? He's still my mate. And I can't exactly say no for everything he's done for me, can I? You're working in the shop later anyway, what does it matter? And that's uh, 125, please, Gail. 119, isn't it? No? I don't know, you're, uh, you're, you're exactly right. 119. Uh... Just testing. And if I hadn't noticed? Oh, you'll have to forgive me. Abby, stop it! Hi, just, uh, uh, just a little, little distracted. Try and mind to let you down. No. No, because we don't believe in farming our kids out to strangers. Okay. No, because we do things together as a family. And children should be heard as well as seen in my book. Evidently. Kids, what did I tell you? I'll leave you to it. Sunita? Precious. Mine. Mine. Although I have every faith in your ability. Don't to, patronise uh, me. Uh, right, well, th things haven't exactly got off to a smooth start, have they? Teething problems, no more. Addy, will you pick Honey, those things up? This has been going on for two hours now, right? And they've been running around. Marcia, will you help me? You're too much to blame as him. If this goes on for another six weeks. Then... I know what I'm doing. 
sorry. So just watch where you're going. Say I'm sorry. What's eating him? Kids are smashing the place up and he's blaming everybody. Don't look so worried. I'm not. Is your mother on your case? Why is everything about my mother with you? Suit yourself. Good day, actually. With who? Sean. Pretty good. When? This afternoon. I'm just looking for something to cook for her. Will your mother be there? No. I told her to get lost. So you'd be pulling the curtains and lighting the candles? <sighs> no, I don't want to come on too, Sean. You know, you can do miraculous things with a tin of soup. Really? Why don't you dress it up right? Nice bottle of wine. Oh, no, I don't want to go that far. She's she just got out of hospital anyway. Jug of ice water with a bit of fresh mint. Oh, yeah, you're a chef, aren't you? Seduction on a shoestring. My speciality. You don't know a Colin Fishwick, do you? Colin who? Fishwick. Never heard of him. No idea. Not more trouble with Chesney. Oh, he's the least of my worries. Why, what else is wrong? Oh, well, it's nothing really. Not that wicked John, is it? Uh, no. Come on, what's he been up to now? Oh, nothing. You can tell your Uncle Sean. No, he's he's just a bit stressed at work, that's all. I thought he was quite happy though lately. Well, he is, yeah, but. I bet he misses teaching, does he? This is it. I wouldn't want to sell sofas. No, me. The general public can be very fickle. I've learnt that working at the Rovers. Hey, tell him he needs to get a new identity. Oh, what? Yeah, he needs to invent one. You know, to help him deal with people, not let them get to him. Oh, right. He could come to me for advice if he wants. Yeah, no. I'm sure it'll be fine now. Every penny of that this week. I love looking at the money through the little holes of the packet before you open it. It's like your first Christmas stocking. Yeah, it's a great feeling, isn't it? Mm. What do you mean I've earned every penny? What I said? Well, you only give me compliments when you want something. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. You see, the thing is... Oh, I knew it. No, no, no. Steve was supposed to man the switch tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm not working tonight. But he's got one of them adoption meetings. It's my night off. And the thing is, I could have done it. Are you listening? Oh, but Cheryl has got no one to babysit Russ. I'm not doing it. Have you got anything else on? No, but I need a break. <sighs> I'll just have to close up then. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Can't you ask Claire? Already done it. Ah, oh, the lads will lose a night's wages, but it's not the end of the world, is it? Go on, make me feel guilty. I'll pay you time and a half. All I do is sit in this flaming office. More lovely banknotes for your Christmas stocking next week. Double and you're on. You're a star. I'm a pushover. <laughs> Staying out our way then. Who's way? Ryan and his hot date. Well, I'd hardly call Sean a hot date. Well, that's not the impression that I got. What would you know about it anyway? Just asked me for my advice, so I gave him a few tips. Lads his age, they haven't got a clue when it comes to romancing the lady. Oh, and you do. Well, you can vouch for that yourself, Michelle. Oh, yeah, certainly can, yeah. I mean, dried up beans on toast, I've been smitten ever since. Well, there you go then. Yeah, that was a joke. But maybe you should give me another try. I've come a long way since that night. You'd have to. That's 8.40, please. Ah, oh, Shat, I don't think you should be doing that. We're building a mountain up to the sky. Yes, but not in the shop, sweetheart. Not with cans of food. Sorry. Why? Because they might fall. So what? That's 160, thank you. Let's make it taller. Yeah, OK, bye, bye, bye. Honey, what is happening now? I've just started doing yeah, it. Yeah, listen, well, this can't go on. You're meant to be looking after him. Come here. I am. Oh. Now we're losing custom. I'm sorry. OK, sorry. Listen, I don't have a time. Now I've got a meeting in 10 minutes. I've got to go to the cash and carry. Have you ordered the mango chutney? I haven't had time. Okay. Well, listen, two dozen jars, all right? 
I'll do it. All right. All right. Why didn't you ask me? Haven't you enough on your plate? Oh, two kids, four kids. What's the difference? Oh, then take them, Claire, please. Not a problem. Hey, don't tell Dev I was this desperate. That's it. Hot to drop, boy. See how you're doing? Why? I'm just checking, making sure you got everything under control. Did Mum sent you? No, but I know she wanted to go with me, so... You're only here because you want to get in with her. How could you say such a thing? Did you get the flowers? Yeah, it's a bit naff, isn't it? You're hopeless. Where are they? It's over there. Have you got a vase? Just under that. Look, I'm not really sure about this. Would you trust me? Now, did you get the fresh basil to chop into the soup? Well, that only I've tried. And I told you to get bread rolls. I don't really care, Kieran. Mugs for drinking out of. We're only having water. You said that was cool. You have to do something about the music. What's up with it? It sounds like somebody is dying. Have you not got, like, a decent boy band or something? Well, that'll be a... <coughs> Hello? Yeah, come up. Right, will you get lost now? Did you get them in for the Kieran? Morning? Go on. Go on. Hi. Hiya. I was just dropping something off. Have fun. Well, you seem to have gone to a lot of trouble. Not really. Right, be back by two. I don't want to keep Mrs. Fletcher waiting. Well, I can do her if you don't want to rush. Well, she won't come near you after you offer to wax a moustache that time. No. Are you ready? Oh, just about. Off anywhere nice? Well, an unspoiled family-run establishment that serves real ale, fine wine and traditional English food. Otherwise known as the Rovers. <laughs> well, have fun. Well, don't worry. Short life and a merry one, isn't it, Louis? Absolutely. What are you doing? We haven't got much time. Oh, is this my lucky day? Haha. <laughs> I, um, nicked Audrey's address book from a bag. I'm gonna ring her friends and invite them to this party. Oh, so you're definitely going through with it, then? Look, you keep guard at the door in case she comes back. You're a little devil on the sly, aren't you? Mm, it's a lot you don't know about me. <laughs> That's 40p change. I've just seen Claire with all the kids taking them swimming. Oh, good. Wish I was doing things like that with Dylan. If only I could curry favour with Isla. Mango chutney. Sorry? You've just reminded me. Thanks, Sean. Well, I'm glad I have my youth. How's Sean, Soph? Yeah, she's good, thanks. You OK? Yeah, fine. Yes, can I make an order, please? Just popped in to see Ryan, by the way. Yeah, what for? Check he was doing everything OK for his big date with Sean. And was he? Ah, he was halfway there, but uh, I put him through his paces. All right, what did you tell him? Just all those little touches that a girl appreciates. Like what? Great secret. <laughs> but she'll be putting in his hands by the time he's finished. Oh, well, thanks for that, Kieran. My pleasure. Yeah. But if you think, you know, feeding Ryan some corny old chat-up routine's gonna get you into my bed, think again. Is it alright if I just nip out for a second? Yeah. Yeah, not bad. I'm trying to get my head around these spreadsheets. Nightmare. Oh, is that in case the taxman comes knocking? You only pay tax if you make a fortune. Oh, dream on. I think that might be him now. Where is he? I'm sorry. Don't mess me about. Call him Fishwick. Hey, where do you think you're going? This is that bloke who came last week. I know he lives here. You get out, or I'll set my dog on you. Kill, Schmeichel. Kill. What's he gonna do, Nipper? Lick me to death? Look, just get out or I'm calling the police. It's not me who's the problem, love. 
You're being mucked around too if you're his missus. There is no Colin Fishwick here. Please, just go. Fact is, if he's sleeping with my wife, he's cheating on you as well. Is it all right? Yeah. Look, feeling a bit weird about the flowers and everything. It wasn't me who was caring. Caring? <laughs> I saw him in the shop and he pushed a load of advice on me and then he came round and just sort of took over. I couldn't get rid of him. Is that why we're drinking water? He said that's what they drink in LA at lunchtime. You haven't got anything fizzy, have you? I was just going to get us some kebabs. So how does he know what it's like in LA anyway? He might have been in his submarine. We've got beer and lemonade. Um, yeah, can you make me a shandy, please? Thanks. So I'm guessing he didn't choose the music then. <laughs> we can have Tom Jones if you'd rather. <laughs> Look, I was going to ask you last week, actually, but I've got tickets for this music festival. I was thinking... What do you want? Sophie? What's up with her? I'm sorry. Sophie! Look, I want you to go. This started when I was inside. What, prison? What were you in prison for? Breaking a copper's jaw. Oh. You heard what she said? Go! Good at lying, is he? Your fella. Trump going off, never quite sure where he is. Yeah, I thought so. At last! Colin Fishwood. Who wants to know? You don't deny it, then. What is it you want? This. Oh. And we're back in Coronation Street at 8.30.